so we're going to get started right here on MiamiRealtors.com, this class working with buyers and sellers. We're going to start with Rate Plug. So again, we're going to go through many different programs today, and I think it's a great class for this month in particular because this month is Free from Miami Month, where we are highlighting that you guys have 80 realtor products and services that are free for Miami members. And it's everything from big data to international exposure to CRM. And these products and services, they are um, created for you guys um, and enabled inside of your inside of your dashboards to help you improve your business. And just in this class alone, we're going to cover almost 20 products. So under home, we're going to talk about rate plug. Rate plug is basically a way to display lender information, it's going to give you some quotes, and it also includes some property flyers. How we can access it is scrolling down into the Miami Gateway. So go ahead and click on that gateway where you can find all of your different products and services. This is a single sign on dashboard where you can click and um, and access these programs. So to get started, we're going to go into Matrix. This is where you can find Rate Plug. And I already have a MLS page pulled up. Rate Plug is this icon where you have the little, the little house with the percentage sign. This is gonna be available as part of all of your listings. Moving back into our search or into our matrix, we can see this information on any property. So any property, selected at random will have this icon. Okay, so it's available with all of your different listings and you can click on it and you can see that key information. This one particularly has that VA option. You can also incorporate your information regarding your lender. All you would have to do is call the number and they can go ahead and input your broker information with your lender information to customize it for you. Where it says click key info. Once we click it, it's going to take us into that rate plug website where we're going to be able to access a calculator where we can slide and change that asking price, customize our down payment, and then our down payment information loan amount will calculate. That information will be available on your right hand side with your total payment information and here's where we can be we are able to customize our lenders information you also are able to print it so on the top right hand corner you can click on this print icon and you can print this if you'd like you can make it a flyer attach it to your showings or of course attach it to any of your presentations moving right along our next section that i wanted to go over is e-property watch so right inside of matrix if i scroll down you see where it says e-property watch on your right hand side we can go ahead and click here to access this program this is basically a way for you to be your neighborhood expert every month so let's go ahead and click on it to access it it's basically an automated marketing program and it sends out monthly emails to your customers about the market activity for a particular neighborhood or the home of your customer. So here you have access to your eProperty Watch dashboard. You'll have your client statuses. Um, you'll also have who you've recently invited. You're also able to import that information. You have a detailed report regarding your subscription emails, how many emails have been sent to your customers, and you do have a client section. Under the client section, you do have your list of clients. You're able to add a new customer by clicking on new. It also doubles as the invite to your client. So once you put in their first name, their last name, email address, and property address, it'll automatically be sent. And let me show you an example of what that looks like. So here is the initial in the initial invite on your behalf. You'll have your contact information, your branding on the right hand side. This is going to be sent on a monthly basis. Um, since you put in their address, it is about their property and customers want to know about theirs, um, their properties and their neighborhoods. You can scroll down and they can go ahead and click on tell me more. 
they also have to confirm or can confirm better said that they want to receive these posts on a regular basis. So that will help keep it from going into spam. Clicking on tell me more, they'll have access to um, a lovely monthly email. They have the value information of their property. You're branding on the right hand side with an icon that says contact me. They'll have their estimated value, any changes in value since in this example, June 22nd of 2021. You also have on the right hand side, you have your estimated equity on this property, mortgage balance, and your current mortgage information if there's any listed. Recent sales of the similar of similar properties will be available for your customer. You also have that map and you also have the different properties in the area. Very interesting. You also have the detailed information up at the top. So scrolling down, you have that property information, the type of site, the characteristics and the last sale and tax assessments in this area. Then you also have your neighborhood highlights. So anything from the most luxurious to the oldest will be seen. You also have the history. So we have this dating all the way back to 1985. If I click on neighborhood, I have additional information that I can search, properties rented, building permits, refinances and liens. And then I have that trend information. Okay, so I have my property. Again, your branding information with these graphs that give additional information for your customer. It's very, um, it's a very detailed report. It also allows you to invite a friend. So if you send it to your customer and that customer appreciates this service, they can do some of that promoting for you and they can click on invite a friend and they can invite somebody they know to also receive your information. This is a great way to just keep in touch with all of your customers. And that is eProperty Watch inside of Matrix under eProperty Watch, okay? Moving right along into our next, um, into our next section, I did want to show you that we do have something called co-branded flyers that are available for you. And you can find these right on our website. You have two ways of going. Um, you can either access, access them by clicking on services, products and services, move down into marketing tools, and you can click on co-branded marketing. Once I click on it, it's going to open up my co-branding flyers and you do have available for you quite a lot of marketing information at no additional cost for you. They're available for you to use. If I simply click on it on the link, I'll have access to that flyer in a, flyer in a PDF format that I can either save as a JPEG to share on social media or I can add it to one of my presentations. This is our newest one regarding rentals and leases, and this is a great tool. It also has information regarding single family homes, condos and apartments, or commercial property. It also gives you great verbiage. So this is for property owners, for example, when you list with me, and it also tells you all of the information of where it is that these listings are being marketed. And also they have their verbiage for tenants and renters. When you work with me, right, they can find or you can find their perfect property because of all of the access that you have. Also, you have that big list of all of the different places where your rental is going to be advertised. This is a great tool or a great flyer to add to that listing presentation if you happen to have a rental. Going back, we also have the top reasons to visit and buy in Miami. If you're working with an international customer, um, you do have multi-language available here. So we have for Miami an English, Spanish, French, Italian, and Russian version of this flyer. We also have it available for all counties or at least South Florida. We have Miami, Broward, and Palm Beach. We also have the videos that are attached to it. So why Miami, South Florida marketing videos, also will available to you. They're going to take you into this section where you have another flyer called Why Miami. 
And you also have these videos that you can share on your social media. So anything we have on this page, it's for you to be able to use. We also have available Miami, a top ranking city. This is a great flyer for us. Members listings, where are they being highlighted? And you can also show that the listings that you have are also being highlighted internationally, right? So here are all the websites. And again, that great verbiage that you can use with that big list of all the MLSs that are also showing, right, your property. Moving along, you have flyers for schools. You have international flyers that are also very useful. If you are working commercial, you have commercial flyers that are available to you. And on the right-hand side, you're also able to download logos. So if you need a different logo, you have them available on the right-hand side. And here is an example of all those logos that you have. Okay, these are your Miami logos on the right hand side, though, you do have those real toe logos with the trademark rules that are available for you. And also the Miami, the Florida realtor logos are also available. Okay, so that is your co branded um, different flyers that you have available. Let's jump back into the Miami gateway and go over a cool product called a Markai. So if I scroll down, this little icon right here, this is called a Markai. We can access it simply by clicking on it. And once I click on it, it'll give me access uh, to the program. And what we can do here is we can create marketing material and we can also send it through email or through social media. So you have a simple dashboard that's available. You wanna click on the top right hand corner um, where your license is and view your account. Under my account, you just want to take a second under user profile to make sure that all of your marketing information is up to date, right? So all of your branding is included. So you want to write or input that phone number, email address. Um, you want to go ahead and verify your information, put in that realtor, realtor associate title. You can input your personal website, your brokerage website, and then simply copy and paste those links to your social media right into the program so we can link it. Pick your preferences regarding phone number and date. Scrolling back up, you also have your office marketing details. So you want to input that website, the office, and if you'd like the phone number, you also have your company marketing details. So this we cannot change, but your company should appear. Your license, you wanna add your license number and pick the state of Florida. And under headshot gallery, you wanna go ahead and input that main picture, that headshot. So it's on your, um, it's on your marketing inside of a Markai. So going back to the main page by clicking on a Markai, we do have available to text, to email, to share on social media. We can create Google ads and we can also create digital downloads with this program. So we're going to share the social media post. And to do that, we're going to click on get started as an example of what we can do inside of a Markai. So in order for us to get started, you want to go ahead and link your link your Facebook. So you want to make sure that you have inputted that information. And then on the right hand side, we're going to click post to social media. We're then going to select our social media, we can upload an image if we wish. Okay, we can use this little bar to make sure that it's fitted properly. And press submit. And then we can add a message. Um, so a message that we can add is be sure to join us this Friday at 10 a.m. for Ask the Trainer. And we're talking global real estate and tools. Okay, and you can see on the right hand side how that would preview and how that would come out. And then you can simply click on post now to post it. 
You also have available your address book, your template creator, and your logo manager. So under logo manager, you can upload multiple logos into your system. So you can, as you create uh, your different marketing, you can go ahead and just place those logos under that information. You can access your properties. If you have any listings, you have a file manager, a photo manager, and a tag manager. So it's very all in one place. And this is a Markai if you guys never um, have jumped into it before. Moving right along past a Markai and into another program, let's go on to South Florida Open House Search. So open houses are still very relevant now. We do them in person, we do them virtually, and you can find them right under um, right inside of your Miami gateway. So you have your broker open house that's available. Broker open houses are normally for other realtors to come and preview your property. And then you also have that South Florida open house, which you can have it as private or public, where others can either see your property virtually or they can see your property in person. Let's click on it. These are both um, this one, the South Florida Open House, is a consumer-facing site. The website is called South Florida Open House Search. So they created that particularly because it's great keywords. As a customer were to, if a customer were to Google that, which is a very common Google um, search, they would come across this website. So what you have here is a great example of what that is. You have your home page. You have the open houses that are happening right now. So if I click on open houses, these are the open houses that are happening right at this time. I can click on it so you can see it. This is an example of a virtual open house. So they're not currently there, but they've listed it um, so they can constantly be marketing that property. So you have your pictures. People are able to share your open house, they're able to view a flyer. So if I were to click on view flyer, it looks like this, where they have the information regarding the bedrooms, the bath, the area, the reference number and the year built, summary information, amenity information, and where it's mapped. On the right-hand side, real big, their marketing info. Moving back into the website, they also Customers are also able to email you. Um, they're also able to follow your social media, see where you're located, and then have information regarding your property and the next open house and when it's going to be available. Property information and on the right hand side, another section where they can contact you. Moving down, you have property information that map so they know where it is. It also highlights other points of interest in the area. And then of course, similar listings in that section, right? And this is part of your website. Now these people have a photo and they've also inputted it. So how is it that we would be able to do that for ourselves and our own listings? If I go back into matrix, if I wanted to add my picture, I would go into add edit, click on add edit in matrix. And what you would do is under roster, you're going to pull up your own license. So here you're going to put in your license number. I'm going to type in Christy because I'm an instructor, but you would put here your license number and click on edit. Once you click on edit, what you would do is you would click on manage photos. You would simply browse your computer for your picture, select your photo, click on open. You want to select that picture and then certify that picture and save it. And now that's going to be available. So whenever you do those open houses, your pictures will come up. Now, how is it that we were to enter an open house? What we would do is we would go into add and edit. We would input a listing and then you would have that available for you. I don't want to input a listing right now. So I'm going to go into my company info, my company listings to edit. And this is basically the information or the fields that you would have available for you to be able to create that open house. So as you scroll down, you'll be able to manage the photos. But what we're looking for is to be able to do an open house. So click on open house. You select the type of open house that you want. If you want it to be that brokers open, if you want it public, 
virtual brokers only or virtual public. You can put in the date, the start time, the end time, if it's active, any additional description you would like. If you wanna live stream it, you can put in that URL or that recorded open house URL, and then you submit it to the listing. Okay, and that is how you add your picture, and it's also how you add an open house. Another website that I wanted to show you is South Florida Commercial Property Search. This is another website that's available for you if you ever have the opportunity to do commercial. This is another area where that, that listing will appear once you list it on the MLS. And that's called South Florida Commercial Property Search. It's available. Also, once you input that picture, your picture will also populate under South Florida Commercial Search in the same manner as it does in South Florida Opens, Open House Search. Let's go into some cool products that we have regarding create um, pulling tenant screenings. So if you do work with rentals, this is a great tool. Let me move into our gateway. And those tools are located right on our gateway. Our first one is going to be the tenant screening option where you can find a tenant screening. You also can scroll down and find the other one here where it says landlord station. So let's go up at the top and start with my rental screening. I'm gonna click on it. Okay, and you have two options here. You have to either pull a rental application or pull a tenant screening. So this is perfect for that customer. Um, if, you, if you are listing a rental and you wanna pull their background information, this is a great way to get started. It starts at $7.99 per applicant. Clicking on screening to get started. Okay, so you do have a basic option, which is 1749. And what's included is the eviction history, the previous address history, a terrorist check, a multi-state criminal check, and a multi-state sex offender check. You also have a premium option, which starts at 2449, which you can also select. And it includes everything that the basic has, but it also includes that credit report, a renter's pay option, safe rent score, um, compare score by location and a landlord acceptance rate. On the right hand side, if you don't need the whole package and you just need, for example, a credit report or you just need the eviction history, you can select what you need and go ahead and select that option. Now I do wanna show you an example of what it looks like and I have one for the premium. So if I scroll down, we can see that example under view report example. And here's what that looks like. So you have the name of that, you have the name of the tenants, the applicants for the property. You have that rate, whether they wanna accept or decline, that safe rent score, that average safe rent score by geography. You have your alerts, your different reports that are available for each of the tenants. And it's all on one page, clickable um, and if I were to select one, I would simply click on select and it's gonna prompt me to fill out the information. I would fill out the property information first. I would then fill out the applicant's information and the payment information. So as I go through it at the end, I'll have that credit card information that I would have to input and you can decide who um, pays this, but it does give you the option at the end to put in credit card information. And that is my rental. Let's jump into the other one. So that is my rental tenant screening. Let's scroll down and take a look at landlord station. So you have landlord station. Both of these are cre were created for property management, but how we're using them or the highlight in this class is we're taking a look at them for their tenant screenings. So this one also has the ability to order a tenant screening. Again, you can order a tenant application. Best practices, I always like to first go into properties and just input the property of interest for me. 
I think that's a great first step. So then once I go back into my dashboard to select my tenant screening, I'm gonna click on new screening. I can then select which one I wanna use, whether that's a basic plus premium or platinum. Your subscription plan does does give you one free basic screening that you can do per month. And if I scroll down, I would simply input my tenant's information. I can decide whether I want to include an eviction report and I can add my additional tenants inside. Scroll down and I can go ahead and select that property that I've already put in the system. I can input that lease rent, the lease term, Scroll down, if I ever have any issues, I can always email or call. And then right here at the bottom, they can put in their payment information, their billing information, save and review, and I'm done. The system will be, uh, will be able to get me that credit card, that background check within half an hour, okay, from payments. So this is another option that you have. This is called Landlord Station. back into the gateway i think we should take a look at our website again and discuss something called the advocacy page so if i go back into the website and i go into home there's certain sections of this website that sometimes we overlook and one of them is the advocacy page which is so which is packed with so much information you have that south florida work Force housing information. If I were to click on it, it's going to give you an idea of the snapshot of South Florida, the work house, the workforce housing information. It's going to give you those statistics regarding Broward and Miami Dade. It's going to give you the information regarding the single family homes, the condos. As I scroll down, it's going to give us the ugly truth about the FHA approved projects. At least we have the ones that are already approved with the number of units that are approved inside of them. Not every, very little, uh, a small amount of condos are actually approved. This is a great way, this is a great way where you can access a list of what has been approved and what's available already with some of the solutions towards the bottom. Moving back into that advocacy page. You also have your sign ordinance ordinances, very important. So you don't want to be that realtor who lists in a particular area, particular city that you're unfamiliar with. You put that sign in front of the property and your owner receives a notice because we weren't sure what was permitted in that section or in that area. So you can select using the drop down arrow you can select the city that you're gonna be working in. So you can select the city and it'll give you access to the different ordinances, but basically it gives you the rules and the regulations of your signs. Moving into advocacy, you have RPAC information as well. You also have condo and FHA information on behalf of the HUD website. This is another great way where you're able to find properties that have been approved for FHA. We do have a class called Getting Into a High Inventory Market, Selling Condos, and we do go into detail about this section. Aside from that, you also have your guidelines. So you have your FHA condo financing guidelines, how they work, right? So if you wanna have this information so you can assist your customers, it's available under that page. And under um, advocacy, you also have assistant animals. So if you're working with a customer with a pet, you have that available here. If you want more information about section eight, so if you have a section eight customer and you want more insight, you do have your HUD fact sheet, HUD inspection checklist, what that looks like, their fair market rents that are available in the area and the housing assistant payment contract. And that's all being able to, and that's all available under advocacy. It's a great section on the website. Moving along, another great section on our website is our affiliates, which is right next to it. Under affiliates, you have um, some great sections like the affiliate online uh, directory. So if you ever come to our class and you hear one of our sponsors, this is an also another great place where you can find their information. So you have everything regarding accounting and tax services, advertising and media, attorneys, auto insurance. These are different affiliates with the association, health and wellness, home furnishing that you can click on and access different companies. 
Also under affiliates, you have a section called affiliate hot deals, which is pretty cool, where some of these affiliates offer you coupons for business, right? For information that you want to, a service you want to take advantage of. So you have 50% off a consultation with this company and you have a free Robin Stuckey furniture and interior gift card with Robin Stuckey. House Masters is offering $200 off a termite treatment. If I keep scrolling down, you have pest control with a free home inspection with this company. So you do have different deals that you can use and that's under affiliates and that's under the affiliate hot deals and those are all created for you guys as Miami members. Another section that I want to show you is inside of our gateway. So let me get to it. Okay so inside of our gateway there's this section called great schools. So if you work with families and they have children, they're going to have some questions about schools. And a great website that you can use is great schools. And here it is towards the bottom. It's called great schools. If I click on it, I can access this website. OK, so I'm going to have the map of schools, the different schools and where I can search for them. So if I click on search, I'm going to go ahead and enter a city. So let's do Western Florida, for example, and then I'm going to click on go. That'll automatically map the different schools and I can choose whether I'm interested in elementary, middle and high school. And then in the middle, the schools will be located. I'll have an average score. I can also click on it and it'll give me more insight. So I'll have that score, reviews that are available, what grades, where it's located, what county, contact information, the number of students, if it's public or private. I'm also able to save them or search nearby schools. Reviews are also available. So if you're a parent and you want to put a review on a school, you have that option here as well. You'll see the latest uh, review. Moving down, you have academic information. So student progress and test scores. You'll have equity information, environment for these students, such as student demographics, discipline and attendance, teacher and staff and neighborhoods. You also see that student progress and again, you have that breakdown, that's those test scores. You also have it broken down between subjects. So you have math, English, and science, that equity information. They have a breakdown with uh, between um, the information regarding discipline and attendance. And then, of course, the comparisons, right, with the students with disability information. If you have a parent that needs additional information about that, you have that available. General information, student demographics, teachers and staff. It's a very robust report that you can go ahead and share with your customer um, regarding a particular school. And that is, again, under grade school data. Moving back, again, is in your dashboard under greater schools. So great schools. Moving along, let's get into something called Savvy Card. So Savvy Card is pretty cool. Let me find it on the website. That's another great way to find something. So what we do is we type in our MiamiRealtors.com and a great way to find a product or service is just to use the backslash. And then you can type in that product that you're looking for. So I'm going to type in Savvy Card and I'm going to press enter and the system will automatically pull for me a product page. So you have that option of looking into services and checking to see which service you're interested in based on product or you can do what I just did, which was search MiamiRealtors.com backslash and input that service you're interested in. So this is Savvy Card. All of our products and service page also have a tutorial that's made. It's about a minute long. It gives you a quick idea of what the program is. On the right hand side, you'll always have your fast access information. So for example, to access Savvy Card, we would simply go to miami.savvycard.com. We would enter our MLS email. 
which means the email that you have tied with the Miami Association of Realtors and then click submit to follow the instructions. So I'm going to click on here. And right over here, I would enter that email and I would click submit. And on the right hand side, you have an example of what that looks like. Excellent. What you would do is you would basically share it with your customer whenever you don't have a paper card. So if you don't have a paper card where the person can lose it, you can simply just text it to them. When you text it to them, you'll automatically have you know, their contact information because you're going to ask for either an email address or a phone number. Okay, so for more details, you can go ahead and access this page and I'm going to go ahead and share it. I'll go ahead and share it inside of the chat. I'm going to show you Connie's because hers is so pretty. You'll have the information here. She has her picture, she has her buttons. This is her link that she can share. So you'll automatically have a link that you can share with your customers. They can either decide whether they wanna call you, email you, text you, share your card, know a little bit more information about you, find you, check out your websites and more. They're also able to save this information, right? So this is a great option. It looks very professional and a lot of agents have used it also as their signature. So they can also link this information to their signature where they can share that info. Okay, because a lot of us, we do check our email through our phone. They'll automatically be able to link and call. So this is that savvy card. So we go back into our website and just type in Miami Realtors. Let's do backslash and then type in Inman. So we do have Inman Select. Inman Select is an industry magazine. It's $200 a year um, for people that are not part of the Miami Association of Realtors. It's a great magazine. It does information, it has additional information regarding breaking news. It also has different surveys that are available. You can search more than 60,000 articles and um, members receive this information at no cost. In order for us to access Inman, we would go to inman.com backslash select. And you would log in. Your information here is going to be your email address tied with the association and then your password, your temporary password will be welcome. If you can't get into the system, you can send us an email at trainers at miamire.com. And so let me log in just so you guys can take a look at what that Inman magazine looks like. Do you have access to agent article, brokerage articles, Inman Expo articles, different events and more. Under more, you have Inman Connect, Inman Insider webinars that are available for you. Um, you also have technology, marketing, and podcasts that you can see, essential guides, tech reviews, luxury lean, uh, the luxury lens, and property portfolios. You also have videos. My favorite is videos. It's the fastest way to absorb information. We also like to jump into technology. Miami trainers are always sharing different articles that we find on Inman. So if you have access to this and our social media, we highlight the best ones that we find and we're always sharing them on social media. They can be available for you guys too. Again, we don't have to do their special pricing. It's absolutely free for Miami members. Okay, so this is a good one. Will people buy homes? Site unseen in a post pandemic market cryptocurrency information. You can search through it and just view based on uh, the topics of interest that you have using the search. And this is Inman, again, an industry website. I also want to show you my condo plan. So let me get out of the magazine. Great benefit. Um, so please subscribe. It's at no cost for you. It's just additional information. You can be current with everything that's happening. They've been really great. Uh, regarding last year and this year and everything associated with the pandemic and our industry. So another section I want to take you to is my condo plan. So if I go into matrix and I pick a property, I'll have access to something called my condo plans and it is 
in the shape of these little buildings where I can browse different condos. So I can either put the building name that I'm interested in searching, or I can search by county. So if I am in Broward, I can select Broward, for example, and then I'm going to have the different buildings available in Broward. Okay, so you have a list of all the buildings in Broward. If condos is something you want to jump into, you'll have all the lists of the different buildings. If you want to zone in on a particular city, so if you want to do condos in Coral Springs, I select condos in Coral Springs. And then again, I have that one condo that's available inside of Coral Springs. I'm going to click on it and then it's going to give me information about that condo. It's going to give me the listings that are available for rent at this current time, if anything is for sale. It's also going to give me the number of sales over the last year, the last six months, the last three months, um, and the average time to close over the last 12 months. So this is a great way where you can decide or it can help you select a particular building to farm. This building, there's not enough activity happening in this building. So I personally wouldn't select it. There's also a good number of units. There's 260, but the movement is very slow. So this isn't one that I would particularly be interested in farming, but this is a great way where you can weigh your options building over building and also in different cities. As I scroll down, I'm also going to have that information regarding Crescent Cove Condominium Association. Each condo has its own association, its own rules and regulations. And if you are listing or helping someone buy inside of a condo, you can you always want to have that information regarding the condo association, how to reach them, what their application is, um, what their fees are, what their rules and regulations are, what their rental policies are. So this is a great place to find that phone number. You can also sometimes find building related documents that are loaded. Again, you have those graphs regarding recent sales. On the right hand side, you have information regarding inventory and average time to close. You can also click on the building image and that's available for you to download. Going back, let's check another city. Let's do Deerfield Beach. Okay, so you have different different condos that you can look at different cities um, different information i have available miami date as well i can pick a city in miami date i'm going to pick doral click one on one of the buildings and here you go you have additional information regarding this building this is a great example i have two properties that are for rent I have 24 that are currently for sale. If I were to click on one, it's going to give me that information regarding those properties. Okay, so as you can see, this is one of the units. I have the listing price, the estimate on it, the complex where it's located, this particular unit. I also have the square foot, square feet, bedrooms and baths with the MLS number available for me. If I were to click on one, I'm also going to have additional information such as the pictures and the floor plan. So if I were to click on free view, this is free at no additional cost. This is the floor plan of the home. This is a great addition to your showing tours, a great addition when you are um, discussing different properties. Pictures, of course, say a million words or a thousand words. But once you take pictures of those bedrooms, Sometimes it's hard to place them. So an idea of giving the information of bedrooms, of pictures, square feet, and a floor plan gives them a whole picture of what it is that they're walking into, which is a great service for us. We can go ahead and download that information. You also have that free download that's available here. If you want to buy one without the watermark in the middle, I believe it's... 495. You can input your billing information, but really that free one for what it is that we're using it for, for our customers. Let me show it to you. It looks good. Okay. You can also download a PDF report. You'll have that building information. This is pretty good. You have some movement 
building inventory is 11%. Sales over the last 12 years, 12 months is 17. The last six months have been eight of the 17. And the last three months, it's been five out of the 17. So this building's on fire. Here you have that declaration condominium information that you can click on and those recent sales. You can always message the realtor as well. And if you list this property, if you list this building, most probably your listing or it will, your listing will have the condo plan automatically assigned to that property, okay? Moving along, aside from condos, you also have houses. So if you click on houses, houses are available as well. You can search it by county, you can search it by a community. These are some of the statistics regarding uh, what's available for you. So Broward has 378 communities that you can find those layouts for. And then for houses, you have 60,000 um, plus different layouts that you can find. And as I scroll down, it's going to break it down by city with all of the information and your numbers by county. So here you have Palm Beach as well and St. Lucie. So another great tool for you guys, completely available um, and at no cost. Moving along, I wanted to show you two more places, which is new home source professional is one of them. Let me exit out of my condo plans and out of matrix. Okay, so here you have available two cool programs. The first one is Builders Update. You also have New Home Source Professional. So if you're interested in highlighting properties that are brand new, you have these programs that are available. Pre-construction properties, new constructions developed by developers. You have it available if you basically want to um, provide your customers with an MLS of new construction these are your friends right here. So if I were to click on new home source professional, very cool. I'm able to search a particular area using the looking glass. I'm able to view all of the different communities. Um, these are the different homes that are available for me. Um, the next tab is the communities that are available for me if I wanted to search based on community. On the right hand side, you can see that this keeps updating. There are different communities um, that are available for you as you make your selection. You can preview the information by clicking on it. Once I click on it, I'm going to have the price point of this information. I'll have a rating. Um, I also have kind of the bedrooms, the baths, the range of square feet. I can also request to register a client. So if I have a customer that's interested in this property, I can simply click here to register my customer with Lennar so I can make sure that they know that I am representing this customer and so that I make sure that I get that commission at the end of that transaction. I can also save or email this listing I can also print a report on this. I have an agent version, which is my version as a realtor professional. So when we go, I have this available for me with all of my details, but you also have a client version that won't show the details of the association of the, it won't show the contact information of the development. It'll have your information up at the top. Well, let me see if you guys can see this. Yes, you can. Okay. Um, so you'll have the information up at the top, right? Your branding on there, the building. You'll have that consumer information, the community details, all of the different amenities, and what's available in the home, right? What homes and plans are available. Okay. On the right hand side, you'll also have that contact information so you can call them directly. You can also send an email to the developer so you can contact the sales agent. You can also swing by if you like. Um, so it does have the address, that phone number and when they'll be open. 
Some of them will also offer you the sales representative so you can ask for them by name. You can also share this information and get buyer leads. So if I were to share this on Facebook, for example, it's not going to highlight the contact information for the sales office, it's going to highlight my information. So Facebook always wants you to post on your personal, make sure to post on the page that you manage. If you have not set up your real estate social media, we have a great social media series. You can put in, call me regarding brand new properties. Okay, so in such in such a market with such low inventory, you do want to just take advantage of any of the properties that you have privy to. So I'm gonna post this on Facebook. I've shared it, it's another great way of finding leads because they can contact me directly, okay? You can also request an appointment with, um, with the uh, sales office. This is basically what's in the flyer. You have your community details, your map and instructions, the homes that are available. You can see the current status. This is on the planning phase. If it's a little shaded in, that means it's under construction. And if it's solid, it means it's available. You have your community neighborhoods that are available. Your community and neighborhood details is what I meant to say. You have the amenities that are associated with these homes. The, the schools in the area, the utilities, and what number to um, contact. And here's your builder's information, okay? Very cool, very cool and available for you. You have your photos and you have a video, okay? Again, shareable. And this is inside of New Horms new home source professional. For you to use it, you can go into your name where it says my account. You just wanna verify your information, add your phone number, you can add your um, current zip code of interest, and then you can add your markets. So if you're interested in receiving information regarding a particular market, you can go ahead and input it here. You can also build out your website and a few easy steps. If I hover over my name, you see where it says my showingnews.com site. You can click on that and you'll have access to this website, which you can edit if you would like. You can also receive different widgets. So if you just wanna have this as a widget for a, a website that already exists, you can go ahead and click on get widgets. But you wanna make sure to fill out that website so you wanna verify your information, put in any designations that you've received so far, input your, um, your email address, your title, well, this would be your brokerage, your phone number, your name, and then any website that you may have. You can also upload your headshot and your logo information, pick, a background so if you click on choose a provided background you can click on it and select from this one or this one if you don't like any of these you can always update or add your own but basically in those easy steps you can click on save and you are done and done you can use that link up at the top to share on your social media i just want to show you what that looks like it looks like this, a person can sign in. What's the beauty in a person being able to sign in? That means you can track their activity on here. They can save searches, save listings that they like and search new homes. If they scroll down, they can see all of the new home construction properties um, that they're able to search based on city, nearby counties, different zip codes or amenities of their choosing. They also feature areas they also feature home builders based on an area. So they can see that you work with quite a few developers and then your contact information on the bottom. It's a great page. It's, hard, it's at no cost to you guys. So let me exit out of here. We also have two great uh, video tutorials on these programs that I believe were recorded by Robert and they're on our YouTube page. Um, and it's regarding these two, these two pages. So let me go into back into the gateway now that we've spoken about new home source professional. You also have building update new home source that's also available for you. 
Okay, you can sign in up at the top and you can search the map for new properties. You can draw on the map. So you can select inventory home, so homes that are already built, to be built or coming soon, or you can select all types. You can also draw on the map or draw a particular radius. Your other option is to select a city or a zip code. You can also include based on price, bedrooms, and baths. And these kind of searches, I think less is more, but they are available for you to kind of dwindle down those results. You also have the details of those homes. So if I click on details, these are some of the details that are available. I can view images, view floor plans, virtual tours and community information and ask questions to the builder. I can call the builder up at the top. Here's that phone number. I also have this available to save. I can email it as well, right? So I can select what I want to include and I can also make sure to select the buyer version. Select what I wanna include. I put in the email address my little message, change the subject and send it out. Moving down, I have my own, my builder's information, the property remarks, my details, the schools in that area, the grades, the uh, school comments. I also have contact information. This is another option for us. You also have under my tools, you have my new home spotlight, a 24 hour concierge, which means you can send out automatic emails. You can manage your home buyers and your clients. You can also upload new customers, save searches, create your email options and receive your different notifications. Under my profile, you wanna make sure to upload your picture, your contact information, your logo, and on the right hand side, you'll have video tutorials that you can view. Okay, so this is another great option that you have um, regarding new properties. And with that guys, we went over quite a lot of programs and services. We went over 18 products and services that are available for you guys to use. Thank you so much, Connie, for all of your help today. I saw that she inputted um, links for us, she added, YouTube playlists for us. She answered all your questions and she also added that really cool working with buyers and sellers um, form which shows you all of the different uh, websites that we visited, all of the different programs that we visited. Thank you so much for being a Miami member and joining us today. I hope you guys like the class and that we introduce you to new programs that you want to start using now. So Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, everyone.